Hello children. Welcome to our English grammar class. How are you all? Hope you are enjoying this online learning process. Okay. Now let's start with our next topic. Now just before we go ahead, uh, just tell me, have you ever played this game called uh, naming game? Yes, naming game. Uh, wherein you just on a paper you draw four columns you make four columns uh, in the first column you write name in the second you write place in the third one you write animal and on the fourth one you write thing so these are the four columns which you make and then this game can be played between minimum two so you can play this game with your friend right so where uh, your friend in mind she will start saying a to z letters right and then when you'll say stop she will stop on certain letter whichever letter she is on and then you have to start writing the names whatever is mentioned in that four columns starting with that particular letter okay so suppose it stops on s so you'll write the name starting from s then you will write the name of a place again starting from S. Then the animal that also starting from S. And then the thing starting from S. Right? I hope you remember. You must have played this in the class also. Yes? Yeah. And then you just tally your answers. If the answers are same, then you will get 5 points. And if they are different, you will get 10. And in the end... Uh, you just calculate and whoever's total is more is the winner. Do you remember? Okay. Now if you are played, well, good, you will understand that. And if you are not played, so when we will meet, that time we will surely play this game in our free time. Okay. Now, this game which you actually were playing, it is nothing but a grammar game. Okay. It is called as nouns. Yes, so we are going to start with our uh, topic called nouns. So we are going to learn about nouns and the different kinds of nouns. Okay, nouns. Okay, now what are nouns? A noun is a naming word, isn't it? A noun is a naming word. It is the name of a person, place, animal, thing, idea or emotions. Okay, so what is noun? A noun is a naming word. It is the name of a person, place, animal, thing, idea or emotion. Right? For example, Mona is the name of a person, garden, it's a place, sand, yes it is a thing, rabbit, it's an animal and honesty. It is the idea. It's an emotion. Right? It is a quality. So that is what we have learned in this uh, uh, video. Right? Yeah. So you know now what are nouns. Now we are going to learn different kinds of nouns. Okay? That we are going to learn now. Uh, here you can see kinds of nouns. The first one is proper nouns. Second one, common nouns. Third one, collective nouns. Fourth one, abstract nouns. Fifth one, material nouns. And the sixth one, countable and uncountable nouns. Right? So, so what is proper nouns? Okay, what are proper nouns? Proper nouns are the names of particular persons, places and things. They always begin with a capital letter. Right? So, what are proper nouns? Proper nouns are the names of particular persons, places and things. And they always begin with a capital letter. So they are very easy to identify, right? They always begin with a capital letter, right? 
and the examples are Yash is the name of a person, Pune, name of a place, Tiger, name of an animal, the Indian Express, it's a newspaper, right? Name of the newspaper, so it is a thing, right? Yeah. Next, we learned about common nouns. Now, what are common nouns? Common nouns are the names given in common to persons, places, animals or things of same kind. Right? What are the examples? Queen, school and pen. Right? So these are the examples of common nouns. Then we also saw what is Collective nouns. What are they? Collective nouns are the names of persons, animals or things that indicate a group. Examples. Chest of drawers. Okay, they are the things. Pride of lions. Right? Animals group. The crowd of people. So, these are all groups. So, they are the collective nouns. Okay. Now, today we have learned these three kinds of nouns. Right? Which are they? Three kinds of nouns. The first one was the proper noun, common noun and collective nouns. Right? So we have learned these three. We will learn few more. But to, to, for today, we have learned these three. Now, hope you have followed what are these three types or the kinds of nouns. Now, we are going to solve one exercise. Okay. Now, that exercise, you can see here on the screen very well. Can you see? Yeah. Now, let us read that. Yeah, the question goes like this. Underline the proper nouns and circle common nouns. <coughs> right? Can you see that? Underline the proper nouns and circle common nouns. Okay. Now, the first sentence goes. Ashoka was a great king. I'll repeat. Ashoka was a great king. Now here, which word we have to underline? Proper noun, right? So in the first sentence, which one? Ashoka, right? So what you have to do? Underline Ashoka. Done? Yes. Now you have to circle the common nouns. Which is a common noun here? Yes, king. Right? The word king. We have to circle it. That is a common noun. So we got to. Let's move to the next one. Next second sentence. Silky is my pet dog. So what we have to underline here? The proper noun. Which is a proper noun here? Correct. Silky. So underline silky. And then what will be the common noun? Dog. So circle dog. Right? So we got here too. Now let's move on to the third sentence. Thane is a clean city. Thane is a clean city. Now which one is a proper noun? Thane. So underline Thane. And then which is a common noun here? City. Right? So circle. City. Yes. Now the next two sentence. Rhea is an industrious girl. What is the meaning of industrious? 
which is a hard working okay it means hard working so the sentence is riya is an industrious girl now which is a proper noun yes riya underline riya right and then what is a common noun girl circle it right so what we have done in this exercise we have underlined the proper noun and circled the common nouns yes now let's move to our next exercise yeah now the question goes select the correct collective nouns what is the question select the correct collective nouns okay you know what are collective nouns group right yeah now the first one a fleet or pride of lions so what should be the correct answer what will be the correct answer fleet fleet is for what it's a group of ships right so what will be the right answer a pride of lions so the answer is pride right a pride of lions then the next one a flock or crew of birds which is the right answer here now crew is again what crew of sailors so what will be our answer flock right yeah so a flock of birds next one the third sentence a bunch or bale of grapes now the bale it goes with what it goes with cotton bale of cotton we see right so what is here the answer a bunch of grapes right next one a troop or colony of dancers now colony is what colony of ants we say right so what is the answer here a troop of dancers right we got our answer here now the next one fifth one a suit or string of pearls now we say suit of rooms right so what is our answer correct string a string of pearls right so here we got our answers we got our collective nouns isn't it now yeah so we have solved this exercise correct now one more for you this assignment which you are supposed to do frame sentences using the given nouns so here you can see three words are given here okay so you have to frame sentence you have to use this word in your sentence okay so the first word is hockey which type of noun it is right it is a proper noun right so the first word is hockey the second one is pen again it is a common noun and the third one bunch what it is a collective noun so i've given you three words you have to frame sentence use this word in your sentence okay so that will be your assignment for today okay so in the next class we'll meet again and we are going to see few more kinds of nouns right so that is what we are going to see in our next class okay so we'll stop here for today see you in our next class